One of the cups, we will lose one of the balls. We will keep one of the cups. We will keep one of the balls. But then, oh, we have one ball, three cups, three cups, one ball. Now you've got to watch this guy closely because, well, he likes to travel. Yeah. He likes to go down through the top of the top cup. And he likes to go down through the top of the middle cup. Then he goes down through the top of the bottom cup. So there's a cup and a ball. Here's what we've got, so you know. One cup, one ball, one cup, no ball, one cup, no ball. Now here's a, here's a secret, right? If I take a ball from the cup, put the ball in the bag, it goes right back to the cup. You know why? <laughs> it's called the cups and balls. Wherever there's a cup, will be a ball. That's the way the silly trick works. Because I put it, they don't believe in magic, does he? Say goodbye to the ball. Same through over here, you see, because there's a cup, there has to be a ball, right? That's the way the silly trick works, yeah? So you say goodbye to the ball, same through over here, just because there's a cup, there will be what? Three balls. That's just to make sure you're on your toes. All right, now guys, listen. This trick, oldest trick in the world, is called the cups and balls. You know why it's called the cups and balls, don't you, sir? That's right, because it's cups and balls. That's why that's called the cups and balls.